Okay, so we're on call it's Saturday. We've got a milkshake machine. It's not working. So let's go in here and see what's going on. Supposedly it cleaned it and ice cream mix came all off the back of the machine. Then it miraculously just quit working. Okay, let's take a peeky poo here. Not as clean as we're going to get it. All right. Let's see what we've got going on. Let's get this thing yanked out of here and see if we can get, get it figured out what's going on. Oh, this should be really good. All right. Well, I just changed this motor a few days ago, back on the 1st. Today is the 23rd. See how the crap comes down through here? Comes down to here and gets into all this. I changed it back in the 20th. See, that would have just set in there. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole in the bottom of this so it leaks on out. That way, when this kind of crap happens again, it'll you know, be okay. Um, I think I used silicone this time to help protect it to keep the crap out. And it looks like it kind of did the job, which is good. Might be better off just take this thing out the back door and just wash it out with a freaking garden hose. It's really sweet. Really sweet. Let's see how our capacitors look. Well, if you got stuff in the capacitor there on top, then it means it must have got down the windings. Uh, looks like it's in there. Let's check it on and see what happens. Okay, we're taking a look at the rear here. You got your seal, which is supposed to be put on dry, then lubricated. When you decide to lube it ahead of time and slide it on there, you end up having it spin on the back and it ends up eating up the shaft. So you can see where it's sucked down in there. And then this here, I mean, it's just probably got a lot of age on it, but you can see the deep, deep groove there. And so you're gonna have a space between this, which goes at the back of the machine, and then this here comes at the front. It pivots on that piece right there. It's like that in the machine. For it to gotten that much through there, something's not right. How that would have just all of a sudden gave out is working before they cleaned it. it just seems to be very suspicious. Um, I'm gonna guess that something probably didn't get put into place right, but we definitely got this knees replaced right away. This, you probably could TIG weld that on there and then turn it on a lathe and grind it back down. But it's either that or spend probably $800 to $1,000 on one of those, I bet you. I'm not sure, but it definitely is war there. So let's get it together and see what happens here. So we drilled a few holes in here. Makes it a little easier to get some of that crap out of there. Probably wouldn't hurt to have a little something up here in that. There's a little bit there. there we go. Close enough for government work. So I've got it in there. They say they sanitized it before doing this, which you're supposed to sanitize yeah, right before you, you turn it on. Which makes no sense how that wouldn't have leaked out. So we're gonna go ahead and run some sanitizer through it first. Got that bent off to the side. So let's go ahead and see if we can get that in there. Got your drain pan here. This should have been the first indication that it was coming out. But see, it's not, it's, it's all the way to the back. See that? That's full of gunk. What I think I should do is honestly break that or drill it so that it comes flying out the front because it's pretty much worthless the way it is right now. It, it would be better to drain up the front than to have it drain all inside the machine, to be honest with you. I got that drilled right there. Gives them a little bit of a lap, but for the most part, it's going to drain out the front now. Maybe somebody will catch this way before this starts going into a disaster. Let's go ahead and get the uh, sanitizer in there and see how it does with that. Get me some sanding here. We're going to put this in with this cold water because you're not supposed to use hot water. Hot water does a nicer job, but on some machines you can take a chance of blowing the barrel out on them because it causes it to expand and some of them have solenoids before and after the barrel. And uh, that can cause some undesirables there. So we're going to get this thing stirred up here. And we'll get this 
nothing in the machine here inside. So we've got milk. Got the sanitizer in there. Don't see anything coming out of the back of the machine, which is kind of interesting since it didn't happen when they first did it. A little, a little odd. They said it wouldn't do anything either. It's running in clean mode. The wiper blades there, they're beyond needing replaced. I've mentioned that before, but they didn't get them replaced. And a lot of times they'll get their own parts. Not much I can do about that. When we get done, I'll make sure they stayed in position there. It's, it's, a, it's a less than desirable type of blade. Usually you've got nice wiping blades. This keeps on going. This is the same model. We're pretty much just like the same model that just replaced the compressor on in another video that I did a while back. Still nothing coming through there. Let's go ahead and give this about five minutes and get her bumped out. We'll throw some mix in there and see if it makes a milkshake. Okay, let's get in there with the good old Greg and get this all cleaned up so that you would even want to get a uh, milkshake out of it. I like to see my machines nice and clean. That way even I would want to eat out of it. make darn sure you don't have a bunch of build up here like they've got. That'll cause false alarms, makes it think that it's full of mix when it's not. Right. Everything's working just like it should right now. I'm not real sure why this catastrophe here happened. Everything's in correct order. I just find it peculiar that it uh, made such a mess to dump the whole barrel before you was able to dump it out like I'm doing right now. Because if you had a catastrophic failure, seal failure, you should be able to drain it out pretty quick because it's not for us down. Now I've seen some really big dents. There's a stainless steel pin here that goes in there to the safety switch, which actually goes up here, but I've seen the huge dent down here on the bottom. Um, then they tightened it down tight enough to actually penetrate into the stainless steel and really uh, put a dent in it. Um, so yeah, things happen for sure. Let's go ahead and stop that. Go ahead and turn the power off. Let's take a look at those wipers and make sure they're still in place. I don't want to dump all that mix in here and then find out that it's not in place. So let's go ahead and get that out of there. You can see the wiper blade right there, a little flat thing. You see the other one right there, it's in position still, so we're good there. And as you can see, there's that one there. Let's go ahead and get this back together. Now, when the person was showing me how they put it together, there was talk that this might have went on the back, and that very, very, very likely is what happened. But now nobody wants to admit that. Um, that feels like the lubricant on the front, which should not be on there. Also, you would figure if they had it all the way forward, thought that piece there, it would have ate into it a little bit. But it doesn't look like it did. Okay, so went in and just washed it out or washed it out, depending on what you got going on. And just flipped her sideways like that and just let her drain out. I'm gonna go grab my blower and blow everything off. The capacitors are the only thing that got wet. I was careful around that uh, high pressure switch down there and it's pretty much encased anyhow. Other than that, we should be able to get it back in there. They're cleaning up the other mess. Didn't think I was going to have to bring it out here, but evidently it wasn't a whole lot of options. And as bad as that was, it was going to stink high heck and back. I don't care to deal with that later. You'll have to chisel it out and it's just that's just horrible stuff to deal with once it's hardened. And it was getting pretty bad there. We got all the capacitors dried out, the tops of them. This one here that's got the white crap all over it, that's hard. It won't come off. It's been there for a while. It's above the actual electrodes or what have you. It, uh, it's as good as that's going to be. Uh, got the limit blown out just in case. Motor's wiped off and good. Got the tray. All that is all taken care of. So let's put it back together. Like I said, if thin water does not leak out the front, then the mix should not leak out the front. What I think happened was they put the white 
bushing that's on the front I think they put that on the back for whatever known reason and because it has a nub on the front it would have still set in there and would have rotated without any major noise because when they were showing me how they put it together they said it goes on the back right I'm like uh no oh yeah yeah I put it on the front I think that's what actually happened problem is is training 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 they really need a video and I've offered to make a video for them if they would just give me a place to upload it well so I'm here on Saturday Anyhow, uh, let's go ahead and get this thing back together. Should work just fine. I haven't tried the compressor yet. I hope, hope it works. We may kick that on first just to make certain before I waste my time putting uh, mix in there. If you're wondering, this is a water-cooled machine. The water comes in through the hose right there into the back of the machine and then comes out on another hose. Goes back into there and down the drain. Use a little bit of water. This has got a coax coil right there. That's how that system works. That's your condenser there, water cool condenser. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see what happens. Everything looks like it's probably fine. Let's see what goes. We got it plugged in. Let's go ahead and see what happens. It's not. There we go. Clean works. Clean stops. Let's go to freeze. Freeze will not probably run unless we've got something in there. The last time, the, uh, it kicked on as soon as I did that. Okay, we've got some in there. Let's see if this thing will freeze. Well, it's not enough. Yeah, it's still not enough. Gotta get a little more in there. I gotta get that carburetor in there too. We have a problem here. We got one blink on the clean light. I was hoping it was just sitting there in standby. This board's a little bit of a pain in the butt. I have to look it up. But being it's dead like that, it's not a good sign. Yep, the power's on, power board's there. Might have finally lost the board. Oh, look at that. It just came on. That's kind of interesting, wasn't it? Huh. We're not blinking no more. Low mix. Let's, uh, I don't like seeing the amperage there change like it's doing. It's a little screwball. Let's see if we can push the freeze. Look at that. The compressor came on. Look at that, all the mix ain't coming out the front. It's kind of miraculous, ain't it? That is really amazing. I didn't do anything different than put the machine together correctly. I don't know. Kind of interesting. So hopefully this thing will freeze down and we can get out of here. Let's see what happens here. Let's give it a moment. Let's kind of go get a little more mix. A little bit low yet. Machine completely shut off. I'm thinking we might have drone a blown a breaker of some sort, which kind of stinks. It was doing so good for a while there. Hmm. All right, let's go check the brake box. I don't see nothing there. Let's see one, it's off. 38 looks like spare. That one's all looks to be on. We do have 230 volts there, but. You know what I think I did? I think I forgot to turn the water back on. Let's go ahead and get that real quick. Oh my, I made a mistake, holy crap. Get hold of the vacuum, please. Maybe they can write the ticket. Okay, well the water came through really quickly. Let's go ahead and hit the reset button because I got shocked the last time I touched it. Push to freeze. Compressor came on. Let's see if it makes a milkshake this time. So far, so good. Okay, you can't charge by this cycle or that sight glass, but at least gives you an indication how things are working. It's green and it's solid, so we're good there on that. It's running here. It's coming out, you know, medium warm, maybe 80 degrees, 90 degrees. I don't know. It don't feel real hot, but it's definitely uh, freezing down cycled off twice I pushed the freeze twice it should be ready to go let's grab a cup looks like it's right to me look at that looks like a milkshake all right well I would say they probably didn't put it together correctly and that would just lead the technician in the wrong direction, think there's something major on wrong besides the seals that are wore out. And uh, could waste a lot of time. Something corny was going on with the board, but that sometimes happens. 
I ain't gonna jump into conclusions on that. I'm going to uh, say it's ready to roll. They're busy. So let's go ahead and wrap this one up. Well guys, today it's 86 according to my van. I would say it was supposed to be 80. I don't know if it's really that warm or not, but that's what we end up having. I truly believe they put the machine together incorrectly because they showed me the incorrect way. Then once I said that wasn't correct, then they ended up saying that wasn't how they did it. Either way, it really doesn't matter whose fault it is, but they uh, really need to have some picture pages there so they can just flip through it and how to put it together. I've showed several different employees how to do it, and the problem is the, the high turnover in the restaurant industry. Uh, that person's lucky if they last a few weeks, and then someone else is in that place. Uh, then, you know, it just happens from there. It's done, it's working. If you guys enjoyed the video and you want to see more like it, as always, don't subscribe, don't click that thumbs button, don't check out Facebook, and don't check me out on Instagram. And until next time, guys, we will catch you on the next one. We won't catch you on the next one. Later.